I am not that girl and that is okay. By now, if you have TikTok, Instagram or YouTube, you would have came across this that girl trend or become that girl or becoming that girl with me. So what does that girl actually mean? It is defined as someone who seems to have her life together. She gets up early in the morning, she does a workout, she drinks green juices, she does some gratitude journaling, she has two liters of water. Now this trend is obviously meant to make sure that you become the best version of yourself, but is it really doing what it set out to do in the first place? Just by merely using the word that or that girl, you are insinuating many things. First of all, what about the guys? Like, I mean, they're not even included in this thing. And obviously guys also probably want to improve on themselves and become the best version of themselves. So that is the first problem with the whole that girl. But using the word that insinuates a third person becoming like someone else. It is saying that you are not good as you are now and you need to become someone else in order to feel fulfilled and become the best version of yourself. Obviously, I agree with some things. I feel, yes, you should have a balanced diet or you should wake up or you should drink a lot of water, you should do gratitude journaling. But what this whole trend doesn't show is about the journey that you get to be there. I have made a video which tells you all about how long it took me to become confident in who I am. And trust me, it did not have a step-by-step -step playlist. Instead, it took many years of truly finding what I am content with and what truly does make me happy and confident with who I am. It doesn't show the mental change that you have to do in order to become the best version of yourself. It doesn't show you the days that you may not feel like drinking a green smoothie or you might feel like having tea or you might feel like having junk food or you might feel like, you know what, I actually don't feel like working out and I don't feel like journaling. And when someone gets sucked into this trend, it can be very toxic and you can feel guilty for not following these steps or lists of how to become that girl or the best version of yourself which this trend tended to do in the first place. Some of these things are obviously unattainable as well. It sets up an unrealistic list of things to all be completed by one thing because journaling doesn't work for everyone. Working out every single morning doesn't work for everyone else. Drinking two liters of water doesn't work for everyone else. But it's again about following this list in order to become something that the whole world is being taken by storm by at this very moment. I've realized that this trend is not about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about living an aesthetic. And to be frank, it's about living the skinny white girl aesthetic. I dare you actually now. Go and research that girl on YouTube or on TikTok, and I guarantee you about 90% of those videos will be people who are thin, who are of lighter complexion. And speaking as someone who is neither of those things, I don't see how becoming them would help me in any way. Like following that aesthetic seriously doesn't physically fit into my own life or it's unattainable in my circumstances. There's no way that I'm going to be a white person. I'm never going to be too skinny. It's anything in general that is made by nature. Nothing looks the same. Nothing can ever be the same. And so why do you have to become this one boxed version that that girl sets out to do? Some of the things that were actually mentioned in one of the TikToks that I did when I was researching things to put into this video was things like buy yourself a new closet, buy yourself a journal, buy yourself something that makes you smell good, stop eating junk food, buy a bikini. These were probably four out of 20 things that I read in that video. There are two things that I concluded from watching that video and listening to all the things that this person listed is that one, they are all external. I spoke about it before on my channel and in this video. The whole point about becoming the best version of yourself isn't about relying truly on what is external. It's about working with what's inside and becoming happy with what you have at this very moment in time or at the very moment that you do become content with who you are. It's not about, oh, let me buy a really nice skirt and a really nice dress to make me feel better. Yeah, it'll work for like two days when you wear that dress or at the time that you wear that dress. But when you are at home with no makeup on, with no fancy dressing or anything like that, you're still going to feel the same way that you did before you put on that dress. And obviously the second thing is that 
it is costly not everyone has the amount of money to just buy a whole new closet or redesign whatever they want to look like these material things are never going to make you feel content until you work truly about what's inside i know it sounds cheesy but take it from someone who has lived through this experience and obviously it's a journey every single day to constantly wake up and still say you know what i'm beautiful and i'm happy with who i am it takes a lot of work and no amounts of dresses or wearing a bikini or <laughs> buying a whole new closet is ever going to change that for me now again of course this trends and the people that make these videos did not set out to make you feel horrible and unfulfilled at the time that you're watching the video but unfortunately that is a negative repercussion of the videos and just trends in general now why listen to me especially if this is your first time watching any of my videos yes if you've watched my previous videos i do journal i do meditate i do read i do have a 75 percent healthy diet but that is only because i truly found that these things made me happy not because anyone told me to or because i was following a trend it's because i found these things on my own i tried it out and somehow it just clicked with me and made me feel again the best version that i can be at this present moment that is why i still do it even a year later because following a trend makes everything that you follow in the trend short-lived whereas if you make a lifestyle change it will be long lasting in your life and it will last longer than even the trend itself so my advice to you is to go be the best version of yourself if something makes you feel happy it makes you the best version of yourself automatically even if a trend doesn't say it so stop following what a person is telling you through a screen who you have no personal connection to and rather start listening to that voice that's inside of you or that feeling that you have inside of you which tells you you know what i'm happy doing this this makes me happy instead of making it feel like a task that you have to do in order to become the best version of yourself make it feel like something that you truly enjoy because in following things that the list of being that girl sets out it makes you feel that you are obligated to do all these things whereas if you find something that you love yourself it again will become long lasting and it will stick with you for a very long time if not the rest of your life so in conclusion i'm not that girl i am this girl i am me and i'm content with who i am without having to follow a trend that social media sets out i challenge you to do the same stop looking for validity in social media stop looking at other people telling you how you need to live your life and listen to what the voice inside you says go out and be the best version of yourself without having to rely on someone else to tell you to do it or how to do it so don't be that girl go and be you